Alright guys, check this out. I've just taken a thumbnail for the video and it's looking pretty good. So we will begin the video at the end of the video. I'm going to give you guys some updates of what's been happening, you know, recently on Dan Surprise as well as Dan Safari. So let's begin the video. Let me attach to my camera. So let's begin. Let's begin with the very first one, Spiny, Spiny Lobster. So... We do have the spiny lobster right here and um, check this out. Lobster is not just a restaurant delicacy. They can live for over 100 years as they grow bigger. They outgrow the shell, shed it and develop a new one. Clawed lobsters are generally found in, go in cold winters where else spiny lobsters do not have the famous spins pincers. You can see they don't have the pincers like you know the common lobster it only has like legs and this really long fillers um let's take a look at more facts have long antenna so these are actually called antenna instead it can be found in warm water so yep here are some other facts right here so our very first um animal of the day is actually the spiny lobster and it is the one and only spiny lobster in our collection next up um let's have a look at the hermit crab this it's basically the hermit crab in case that you guys do not know this shell right here actually doesn't belong to the hermit crab okay so hermit crabs seek out abandoned shells to protect the soft bodies once they upgrade their shells they will drop them and switch to a larger one where shells are hard to find a hermit crab may hide under bamboo an abandoned abandoned coconut shell or among coral reefs so they have very very soft body especially like the back part of his body so this figure has been with us for quite some time let's check out the date um it's a 2006 figure but we got this like maybe one or two years ago okay next up let's have a look at our seahorse figure so this is a very pretty and beautiful looking seahorse we do have some facts about seahorse right here common seahorse i'm not too sure whether this is a common seahorse or it could be you know a different species but let's 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 read this also known as the stallion of the sea seahorses are surprisingly poor swimmers so it can be often found resting with the tails anchored anchoring them to a stationary object However, they do swim upright using the pectoral scheme fins behind their eyes to steer and their long snouts to collect food. Male seahorses carry their eggs during mating season. So, yep, that's right. So, I'm going to put this card away and uh, let's have a look at some other figures right here. This is a giant squid. We don't have... Oh, we do have a giant squid information right here so let's just have a quick read the giant squid is a large mysterious creature rarely seen by the human eye they are thought to live in deep inhospitable parts of the ocean along the cousin the colossal squid they have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom sometimes as big as a beach ball wow very very huge okay let's move on this is basically like a, a common lobster so we do have quite a few lobsters figures in our collection Okay, next up, um, shall we have a look at some penguins? This is our South African penguin. We have some facts about the Hamburg penguin, so we'll come to that later on. And um, this is actually a rock hopper penguin. Let's see, where is our Hamburg penguin? This one right here is a chin strap penguin. You can clearly see there's a line across the chin. And here is another one, Emperor Penguin with his baby chick at the bottom of the feet. Absolutely adorable. This is a Puffin, our one and only Puffin figure in our collection. And this one, it should be the Humboldt Penguin. It's written right here. So let's have a look at um, the facts. Humboldt Penguins can be found on the coast of Peru and Chile. These rare birds have spiny tongues which which they use to hold fish in the booze a special gland allows them to drink both fresh and seawater filtering up excess salt which then dribbles down their booze wow they have this very cool feature which means they can actually drink seawater but they have the ability to actually filter out you know the salt which is very very impressive 
Next up, we have an octopus right here. Um, I suppose let's just call this a common octopus because we do have some facts about the common octopus right here. The common octopus can match the skin color to its surroundings in order to hide. They can also release black in to distract a predator, giving them a chance to swim away. Octopuses are solitary animals only venturing out to eat, reproduce or collect shells to make defensive fortresses for their lairs. Very cool. Very, very cool. So let's move on. What do we have right here? Um, polar bear cup. And this one, I think it's a cuttlefish. I'm not exactly sure, but I've um, possibly know. This one is a cuttlefish. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but you know, this one right here is actually a reef squid. It definitely looks like a cuttlefish um, here as well. Uh, I guess we can read the facts about this. Like octopuses, the cuttlefish releases ink when under threat. This ink has been used by artists for years. Their bones are often used by parakeets to sharpen their beaks. Wow. They, they prefer warm shallow waters but migrate to deeper oceans uh, for the winter. Awesome stuff. Uh, let's move on. This is a moray eel. Unfortunately, we do not have any facts about this one right um, you know, in the cards. And this is known as a balamite, which is like a prehistoric squid. Okay, we have two huge king crabs. And they definitely do look like spider crabs, if I'm not wrong. We do have um, spider crab um, facts right here. I think we also have a spider crab figure in our collection. So hang on to it. Wait first. So this is an octopus. Um, this is from Papo. Here we have another really beautiful seahorse which we have just read some facts about the common seahorse just now. Ichthyosaurus is um, not exactly a fish. It's a prehistoric marine animal, I'd say. Um, it's no longer, it no longer exists. And this one, I think is a spider crab. I think so, guys. Um, although it doesn't really look like, you know, the one in um, the photo, but I think this is supposed to be a spider crab. The Japanese spider crab lives in the depths of the Pacific Ocean. It has eight legs, two long feeding arms, and can live up to 100 years. Eight legs, one, two, three, four, and two long feeding arms, which I think, you know, are these two pencils. So I definitely feel that this is a spider crab. Um, let's see, with a body as big as 16 inches and a leg span of up to 4 meters, you wouldn't find, you wouldn't want to find this in your bathtub, of course, of course, it looks pretty and terrifying, I would say. Here we have um, a couple of polar bears, okay, very, very beautiful. Do you guys know that polar bears, their fur, their fur is actually transparent, translucent, I would say, but of course, from far, you, they actually look like, you know, they are white. Okay, this figure of ours is actually pretty new. It is a coconut crab. And um, I think they can be found in some parts of Asia. And they have the ability to climb up coconut trees to harvest co co coconuts, which is kind of impressive. Next up, we have a shrimp. This is a shrimp, but I'm not too sure whether you, we can actually, you know, use the same facts as, as a mantis shrimp. But let's just have a look at, you know, the facts of a mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimps are fast and aggressive. These brightly colored creatures have clenched arms, tucked away, tucked away under the head and eyes on stalks. They are only inches long, but the punch is the fastest, most powerful response known to man and have said to have the same force of a bullet. Really? That is really, really hard to believe. Not too sure about this. Their punch is the fastest, most powerful response. Really? We um, I think we, we should we should do some more research about this mantis shrimp again. It definitely sounds very scary if the force is as powerful as a bullet. That can be quite dangerous. Okay, right here we have a dungeness crab. Uh, we don't have the facts about this right here. This is a really beautiful figure from Peppa. We got this like a couple of weeks back. This is the um three eyed crab right here you can see it has like three black spots on his body really beautiful as well this is known as the chambered nautilus okay it looks like, looks like an alien to me here for the brown crab and another lobster i would suppose this is a common lobster 
Here we have another common, common lobster and I think this is our one of our very good looking figures. It is a deluxe figure from Collecte. Um, has been with us for probably two years I would say. Polar bear cops, polar bear cops, plenty of them, really adorable creatures. Um, this is not supposed to be here so I'm gonna put this back into the uh, whale, whales collection. Same goes with this bottlenose dolphin. What do we have here? I think this is a soft African penguin. Let's have a look. African penguin, it is written at the bottom of the body. This one, I think um, it is also an African penguin. Really cute one. Next, we have a mini penguin. It looks like a mini emperor penguin. Octopus. Jellyfish. Uh, we do have um, some facts about jellyfish right here but of course there are so many different types of jellyfish and this one is actually for the blue blabo jellyfish let's have a look at this jellyfish are soft bodied invertebrates and come in many shapes and sizes from the blue blab blabo to the lion's mane jellyfish can only control the vertical movement the horizontal movement is controlled by current and wind the stings can cause pain but they are mostly harmless okay cool Let's see what else we've got. Here we have another penguin. Um, it's probably an African penguin as well. This one is an emperor penguin, which is like the largest species of penguins around. Penguin cheek. Another rock hopper penguin. This penguin has a really nice hairstyle. You can see the feathers, you know, on both sides. It's really cute. Yellow feathers. Sea dragon. Weedy Sea Dragon to be exact, we don't have any facts about this but I know that Weedy Sea Dragons, they come in you know many different colours as well. Blue Crab, this is the exact name of this crab, it's known as Blue Crab and you can actually find the name right here. It is not named Blue Crab simply because I, I name it, it is really named as a Blue Crab. Um, this is the um, Sally Light Food Crab, probably one of the most colourful crabs out there. And this one is a prehistoric uh, marine animal, I'd say. It's basically known as Pravitoceras. Okay, where's the name right here? Pravitoceras. It basically looks like a mix of um, hermit crab and a squid. Sea lion. I don't think this is supposed to be here. I think this is supposed to be in another box. So I'm going to put it aside first. Um, polar bear cup. Another prehistoric sea animal, which is known as the Coelocanth. Mini Mori Eel. Nudie Branch, they come in all sorts of colors. This one looks really bland. I've seen like one like purple and blue, which is like really, really beautiful. This is a scallop hammerhead. It shouldn't be in this box. And this is our, a whale shark. Um, Harmback whale, I think. You can see the little bumps on his body. A squid. And our last figure of the day is actually this. What is this known as? Ammonite, I think so. Another prehistoric sea animal. So I think we have read. Oh my goodness, did we read the Hamburg penguins? Uh, yes, I think we have read it. Uh, let's see. Are there any facts that we have missed out? Nope. I think we have read all the facts that we have on the cards. So thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next video. Of, of course, before I end the video, as promised, quick update. Okay. So here are basically some of the Gujitsu minis that we have acquired two days ago. So I'll be putting a shelf right here. Um, some other updates include, we've got another set of this. I'll not be opening this. I'll probably keep them in um, this incubator because I think it looks really good. Uh, we already have the complete set. So this one is definitely going to stay in a box. Um, no other updates so far. And um, that's about it. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.